Hey everybody and welcome back today. I'm going to make some embellishment pieces that can be used on an art journal page, on artist trading cards, for greeting cards, for tags, all the kind of stuff to put into journals, um, whatever you can imagine. And I wanted to use um, some of my jelly prints, some of the pieces that I've already cut something off, so I get rid of those. And I'm starting out by creating some circles from the pattern paper. And here I'm using the, um, f I believe it's the Pentel Pocket brush pen. It has a permanent ink and it's usually for sketching, but I really like it because it works over the acrylic paint and it dries permanent and it's very black. So I, um, I, painted a circle with this pen and I'm going to stamp some uh, circles from different stamp sets which I will link in the description below and I'm just using different pattern papers. This will take me a while and I think I will speed up that part a bit because the video has 50 minutes at the moment which is far too long for a YouTube video because YouTube doesn't like long videos um, and that's not good for my channel to post a long video. So um, I try to make it shorter by just speeding up the not so interesting parts. I would try to keep the important parts in real time so you can create along. So maybe you are just pausing the video, searching for some of your paper scraps and then create some circles in the way you want them to be. I like to have different sizes so I can make different sized embellishments for different kinds of projects. Also, my voice is still not, not back to a normal condition, I would say. And when I talk a lot, it gets very scratchy. And that's also the reason I cannot talk through a 50 minute video. Here you see me cutting out all the circles. I'm going to use some of our brand new stamps which have been released last Thursday. And they are 10% off until tomorrow. So um, if you want to have them, it's the best chance to get them now. And of course, I'm going to link them up in the video description. My circles are finished. Um, it might be that you can hear the chickens in the garden. And I'm going through the stash and I'm searching just for some bits and pieces of these scrap papers that are matching my circles color wise. So I can add some more collage elements to the circles to just build up on them, get more dimension and make them more interesting. And what I'm now doing is I just pick one circle and then search for a paper that will match the circle or for two papers mainly. And I, I'm tearing some pieces and I'm going to adhere them to the circles. And I'm using a glue stick for that, nothing, nothing, nothing special. Um, I really liked that blue paper with the burlap print on it, but the blue, I feel the blue and the green does not work together very good. So I will put this aside to keep it for maybe another one. And yeah, that's, that's all I'm doing. It's more intuitive. I just lay the pieces down and see what I think fits. I try to match the colors a bit and to get different textures. To bring in more texture and marks, I'm using Posca paint pens or other acrylic paint pens. I also have some from Artex here. To make some marks on these circles, I 
like to make dot patterns, bigger dots, smaller dots, or maybe just some dashes with the markers, just to, to blend the collage together, if that makes sense. Um, I feel it looks more finished when I have something on top of that collage. And the acrylic markers have to dry a bit, so I lay this one aside and I'm working on the next. I think this is a really good idea to use up all your collage paper scraps. I try to do this um, because I have a lot of collage papers and I want to get started with my jelly printed sketchbooks where I have two from and I already shared a flip through and these are sketchbooks they are spiral bound and I have printed them completely front and back side of the papers with my jelly plate so I have a big book or two big books of collage papers now. The papers I'm using here are all kind of different papers. They are mainly jelly prints, but these two snippets I've used here are just a jelly print which I have stamped on and then that's a newsprint paper with some watercolor on. And what you of course also can do, you can glue a piece of paper behind your circle. And if you don't like circles, you don't have to make circles. You can make squares or you can make a heart or an oval or you can make just any kind of shape you can just tear all your pieces and collage them together that's just up to you and what you like the most and i'm a circle fan i love when something is round or oval and that's the reason why i'm going with circles and here i decided to go with neon from the Ardex markers because there is already that neon pink on the collage paper I have adhered and I think that works quite well together. I wanted to use this blue paper and I think it works quite well here together with the orange as a complementary and I wanted to use it now because otherwise it might have ended up in the bin because it's so small. Instead of using glue to adhere the papers you can also use a stapler and just staple the pieces upon each other. I personally do not like that so much. I don't know why, I just don't like the look of it. And I had I didn't press hard enough. Um, but it's a possibility and it gives you a different look and that's the reason why I wanted to show you that. And of course you can also use washi tape and adhere it to your embellishment pieces. And I had that grid tape laying around and I thought this might match um, this combo here. And that's the reason why I'm adding just some tiny bits to it. And of course, I'm also going to use a paint pen on this one. I really enjoy the process of making these marks. Instead of paint pens, you could also use Neo Colors, for example, to make some marks on these elements.
I'm going to make a video review of these Artex markers soon on my channel. Um, I like them. They work great, I would say. The colors are very pretty in this set. Um, the only thing that I find better with the Poscas is that the nib is softer with the Poscas. And you can press a bit harder and not so hard to make different size dots. And with the Artex you almost can only make one size because as soon as you press a little bit more it goes in and you will end up with a lot of paint outside and it's also a very hard nib uh, that's the only concern I have against these markers everything else I really like they have a good coverage they are have nice colors that I really like and they yeah, they, they work just fine and of course they are not as expensive as the Posca pens. Here I decided to glue that circle on top of a bigger piece of collage. That's also a possibility on how to mount these things together.
this is the last circle I am making and in my next step I'm going through my stash of pre-stamped images and see which one fits which circle and which one I like and then I'm building I'm building the embellishments I have some folders with collage fodder and there are a lot of stamped images which are some are already colored in some are not and I'm just going through them and see what I like For this circle I couldn't find an image that I really liked but I decided maybe to just cut a heart from a collage paper and put this onto the circle. I tried it with a turquoise one because I thought I should keep it um, color in the same color range but that doesn't show up so I decided to go with a pink one. I also wanted it to cut by hand without any pre-drawing but that did not work so I made a second one and I just pre-draw, drew, pre-drew this image to the back of the paper and then I cut that out and I really like that red heart on top of the green background. I decided that the background needs some of that um, reddish orangey color as well to make everything look cohesive and so I'm going in with the paint pen again and make some dots with it. And for this last one I'm picking that Pencilmox number, number 7 leaf here which was stamped I think to a jelly print and then cut out. I had it laying around for quite a while and I think that works so well with that bright poppy circle and I thought about adhering something um, underneath the leaf but that did not look good so I just I'm just gluing down the leaf as it is. Something else you can do to put under an under a stamped image is to just use some thread and curl that up and adhere it underneath. On the next circle I'm using one of our brand new butterflies from the Butterflies and Moth stamp set.
Some of my stamped images are not colored in. Um, I think sometimes it's nice to have a black and white image, but I can always go in later when I use that um, piece on a project and see if I want to use a certain color for it and then color it in. I have to say that I really enjoy this process, building these pieces, these um, lovely embellishments. And I think I am going to do some more. I'm wondering if you would like to see another video when I do something similar. Um, just leave me a comment if you are interested. I bet some of you would like to see how I use these and I have, when I edit this video, I have already recorded an art journal page where I'm using one of these elements and this will be posted maybe next Wednesday or maybe the week after, but um, it will be posted on my YouTube channel soon. I think for this leaf I'm also going to use that staple tool because um, then it is cohesive with the rest of the, of the element. And it's also a nice way to adhere something. Um, it, it keeps it a little more loose than using glue. I haven't adhered the heart yet. Um, so I'm going to adhere this and this is my last piece that I made. You will find photos of each of the pieces over on my blog. Um, I will not put all the photos, single, single, all the single photos here in this video. I will give you a photo of all of them at the end, but if you want to have a closer look at only one of them, then just jump over to the blog. Um, what I'm doing here, finally, I'm picking some words, cut them out, and then have a look if they fit the embellishment piece, because I think words are a nice style element and always add to um, a, a, a project or a page or whatever. And I decided to put some words on these embellishments. I'm speeding this up as well because then my video gets under half an hour, which was my goal. Um, I hope you enjoyed that video and you are inspired maybe to create your own embellishments. Let me know if you want to see another kind of these videos and I hope we will see us next time and I wish you a lovely weekend. Bye.